Today is the day of love and we're celebrating love with a couple who has been married since 1967. Three sons, 10 grandkids, four great grandkids and two great great grandkids later. Don and Marie have been inseparable for 55 years. Marie had a brain tumor in 2017 and was left paralyzed. As a result, she has been cared for in a skilled nursing facility ever since. Her husband Don has visit her, visited her every day since. So joining us now is Don Fjordstein and Greg Steen, CEO and founder of Senior Care Advocates. So this is an incredible story and and we love to hear it on Valentine's Day. You know, I, it's so easy to turn on the TV and turn on the news and, and hear stuff that makes you sad. So I'm so happy that you're here today. So tell me a little bit about your love story. Well, we started like anyone, I think, and uh, enjoyed life and we both worked. Uh, when this started with my wife, she had a brain tumor, we uh -huh. found out, and uh, within two or three days, it was time for surgery. It was a kind of tumor that continues to grow unless you do something about it, so that was why we made that decision. And uh, since that time, she's been in bed. Uh, she can't move. She can move her left arm. Uh -huh. But can't move her legs or can't, no balance, can't walk, can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She can talk fairly well and uh, she's a sweetheart. How do you, <laughs> how, so how did senior care advocates help in this part of your story? Well, uh, tremendously. Uh, Greg, he found ways and knows the ways in his business to help you qualify mm -hmm. for the different uh, agencies and that's what, what saved us really. Do you, how do you think this, you know, I don't think when you meet, you know, the love of your life or you meet somebody that you adore and you're in your 20s, you don't think of yourself in your 70s and in your 80s. So how, how did this change your relationship or how, how did it maybe change the love that you, that you have? Probably deeper, yeah. Uh, uh, more, more strength, more understanding, mm -hmm. uh, kinder. Yeah, <laughs> I was much kinder. <laughs> I think we can all stand to be a little kinder. So it's a great reminder to have you on today to sort of remind everybody of of the love that's there. And and you think that it's so far off. You think that growing up is so far far away but it really comes you know faster than you might think so how did you find how did you find out about this story i'm so happy that you brought them to us <laughs> well don's been a great client for years <clears throat> and to the the years you know we'd hear that yeah i'm gonna be here in town he lives in sanger but he would come every day even considered moving into town just mm -hmm. to be closer and we just kind of kept in touch. We go out to breakfast. We do some things, you know, together just to stay in touch. And one day it just dawned on me, my gosh, this guy's gone every day for five and a half years, right? Who does that? And 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 really, most people aren't in a skilled nursing facility that long. They average right. about three and a half years. But kudos to him because what an amazing feet and the more we learned about it it's like man how could we not share this with everybody because you know um my hat's off to him i can hope that you know hopefully the day doesn't come for me but <laughs> if it does i hope i can live up to your standard what makes you what makes you go every single day well i'm sure she would do the same for me and uh, i need to be there have have uh, you and Marie ever been long distance? Or have you always been close to each other? We've always been pretty close, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what might you say? I'm sure that we have a lot of lovebirds out there, you know, and we want to know what makes love last and what makes you want to be around someone every single day. So what is it? What do you think it is? 
Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, so I was I was listening to um, someone speak about love, and you know you're asked all the time, like, what what do you love about this person, or your partner, or your husband, mm -hmm. or your wife? And sometimes it's very, you can't articulate it. It's just a feeling mm -hmm. that you have, and there's there's no other way to describe it. Yeah. But I think when you know it's something that you definitely have to work at. A, a partnership is, mm. but when you spend so much time with somebody, you can't imagine not spending time with somebody. Am I right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. What has this taught you about, you know, the people that, that you serve and your clients and, and what the, the work that you're doing? Oh, boy, that's a, <clears throat> that's a good question. I think to probably be a little bit more understanding and empathetic, you know, um, to help people I know that when we went through it ourselves, we became better advisors, you mm -hmm. know, because my parents went through challenges and in-laws, but but maybe just to help us understand what people are really going through. We're talking about having like a, you know, a group where the guys come by because their wives are in a nursing home, yeah. they just come by and shoot the bowl, we have lunch or whatever, I mean, just to understand better and, yeah. and maybe comprehend where they're really at because it's easy to look at numbers and figures and... Yes forget the realness of what's really important. Storytelling is so important to understanding not only, you know, the community that you live in. So for me, it's understanding who's watching and, and who comes on the show, but understanding who your clients are and mm -hmm. who works for you and who, who, need, who needs services. So thank you so much for sharing this incredible love story. It is a great accomplishment. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. both of you, for being here today. Thank Happy you. Valentine's Day. Thank you. Coming up here mm -hmm. on Central Valley today, we celebrate our Valentine or if you'll be alone, maybe you'll be drinking alone. We raise a glass with select aperitivo after the break.